and I know I simplify it. Look, I'm going to let everyone out there. Assurances and all liabilities has been probably my biggest challenge since starting a drone organisation. It's not something, and James can attest to that, it's like, it's something that gets to that time and mine is April every year <laughs> that everything's due for renewal um, or a new contract comes in and it's like, you know, with international peoples and new drones and, you know, now we're doing BV loss or something new. James, really quickly, is most insurances to a specific task as well? So let's just say, you know, a lot of people have been flying visual line of sight for a long time. If they start, hey, we're going to start flying over people now or we're going to start flying BV loss, do they need to inform the insurance company um, or the, or they or they automatically approved as long as they're approved by CASA? Yeah, so great great question, Jackie. Um, I, I would say, and I can't speak for all of our competitors because um, you know different insurers will manage that differently. Um, from our perspective, um, yeah, the way we insure is based on operation and use per drone. So yes, that's something you you would need to be telling us about. Um, I would think that um, as a general principle, always better to disclose to your insurer and get their perspective on something um, if you're not sure. Um, I would be reasonably confident that that the majority of it, uh, drone insurers out there would want to know if you are operating BV loss, um, and if you haven't told them and are, could could be in a spot of bother. 